Hello, collector friends, and welcome to the Monday Morning Brief for July 28th. Daniel A. Piazza earns a promotion at the National Postal Museum. On July 23rd, Piazza took over as chief curator of philately at the National Postal Museum in Washington, D.C. Bill McAllister, Lynn's Washington correspondent, reports that Piazza also will chair the museum's philately department. And we can report that Piazza is jumping right in, putting together a postal exhibit titled Freedom Just Around the Corner, Black America from Civil War to Civil Rights. The Golden Gate Park will host the debut of the Janis Joplin stamp. The scenic views of the San Francisco landmark will serve as a backdrop for the upcoming August 8th first day ceremony for the legendary rocker who died at the age of 26 in 1970. Golden Gate Park is a fitting locale to pay philatelic tribute to the lead vocalist of Big Brother and the Holding Company because the band played there in 1968. On the Scott Catalog front, we report that Volume 5 of the 2015 Standard Catalog is scheduled to go on sale August 4th, just one week from today and Volume 6 will soon head to the printer. The 2015 U.S. Specialized Catalog is in the final stages of editorial updating. New content appears throughout the volume. There are significant new and reorganized listings in the essay section, and the test stamp and test booklet section see new listings and other editorial enhancements. And we report that a second upright $2 Jenny Invert single will be going to auction. Regency Superior were offered the single August 23rd during its auction at the American Philatelic Society Stamp Show in Hartford, Connecticut. The stamp is a bottom left single with attached selvage that was trimmed from a paint of six. The first single, you may recall, which was auctioned earlier this year, did not find a buyer. For Lynn Stamp News and Scott Publishing, I'm Chad Snee. May your stamp collecting pursuits bring you excitement and joy this week.